Jones and the Storytime All-Stars live at Sketchfest, starring Mo Willems. That's me! Oh, I am so excited. We're going to have comedy. We're going to have drawing. We're going to have music. And we're going to have books. It's going to be amazing. There are so many incredible comedians. It's going to be so, so funny. Oh, I forgot the most important person in the cast. That's you. And it's all happening right here at the Castro. Wait, no, I want to. And it's all happening right here. Hello! Hello! Hello there! Hello! My name is Mo Willems! Welcome to the Castro Theater in the Castro District of San Fran Castro. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. We have such incredible cast. I want you to give them a warm round of applause. Kids, they're great. You don't know them, but it's fine. Here comes our cast, starting. We got our buddy, Joe! <laughs> Terry! Come on! All right. Janet! <laughs> Dulce! And that's it, that's all we have. That's, oh no, wait! We have one more. Al Yankovic! <laughs> What an amazing cast. We've got a great show for you tonight, including a bunch of acorny jokes. Acorny jokes? Uh, what are those, Mo? Well, let's see for yourself, Joe. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Corn. Hi, Corn. I've got a question. Uh, uh, Why are comedians like postal workers? <laughs> Why are comedians like postal workers? <laughs> because their jokes always deliver. <laughs> that joke really pushes the envelope. <laughs> I'm feeling fragile. Can we wrap this up? Thank you, Mo. You're welcome, Joe. And I think you're going to like this story. It has laughs. You like laughs? It has drama. You like drama? It has gluten. Yeah. Gluten? Gluten's my favorite. None nuts. Nanette! Nanette! Today is a day Nanette won't soon forget. Today in the kitchenette, Mom tells Nanette that... Nanette needs to get the baguette. Baguettes are warm. Warm! Baguettes smell wonderful. Wonderful! Getting to get the baguette is Nanette's biggest responsibility yet. Is Nanette set to get the baguette? You bet. But on the way, Nanette sees... Georgette and Suzette and Brett. With his clarinet. Look, there's Mr. Barnett with his pet Antoinette. Nanette pets Antoinette. Pet, a pet, a pet. <laughs> Did Nanette forget the baguette? Got a jet, I've got a baguette to get. Says Nanette to the quartet, Beggar Juliet. Ha ha! <laughs> has met Nanette, she knows it is Nanette's first baguette to get. 
So, Juliet gets Nanette the best baguette yet. Nanette, did you get the baguette? <laughs> Are you bad? <laughs> the baguette is warm. Warm. The baguette smells wonderful. Wonderful. And there sure is a lot of it. Crack. The baguette is warm. Warm. The baguette tastes wonderful. Wonderful. And there still is a lot of it. Crack. The baguette is still warm. Still warm. The baguette still tastes wonderful. Still wonderful. And there still is some of it. Can Nanette stop tasting the baguette? Not yet. <laughs> crack, 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 crack. Mm, baguette. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Upset? <laughs> Will mom regret she let Nanette get the baguette? Oh! Kaboom! <gasps> now Nanette is wet. Sopping. Wet with no baguette. <gasps> this is as bad as it could get. Mm. Nanette wishes mom had never let her get that baguette. Maybe Nanette will move to Tibet. <laughs> Tibet is as far away as you can get. Nanette would need a jet. Can Nanette go home instead? Can Nanette face her mom? Ooh. What will she do? <laughs> Where is the baguette? Asks mom. Did you forget? Nanette did not forget. Nanette is upset. Nanette is beset with regret. <laughs> she sweats. Oh. I ate the baguette. <laughs> 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 baguette, I ate that. Mom hugs Nanette. It is warm. Warm. It is wonderful. Wonderful. Like a million baguettes. The day is not over yet, Nanette. Says Mom. Let's reset. Yes, let's. Baker Juliet is surprised to see Nanette. But not too surprised. <laughs> Nanette's mom gets another baguette. Now they are all set. Mom, Nanette, and a baguette. The baguette is warm. Ooh, warm. The baguette smells wonderful. Wonderful. Crack! Mm. Mom! Today is a day Nanette won't soon forget. The end. A corny joke. A corny joke. A corny joke. A corny joke. Come on, a corny joke. Okay. Another a corny joke for Joe and you. Hi, Corn. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's it like being a professional yo-yo player? <laughs> what is it like being a professional yo-yo player? It has its ups and downs. <laughs> More like yo-no. 
I'm sorry. I'm just a little wound up. I'm sorry. I was stringing you along. Okay. Okay. That was funny, and I should know I'm a dad. Where do acorny jokes come from? Well, they come from the Unlimited Squirrels book. Oh, I love Unlimited Squirrels, like, so much. Me too, I love Unlimited Squirrels, a hundred billion! I love Unlimited Squirrels, two hundred million D billion! I love Unlimited Squirrels, two hundred trillion D million D billion! Whoa. Oh yeah? Well, my love for Unlimited Squirrels is beyond numbers. In fact, it is, it, it, it has no limit, Ed. <laughs> well, if you all love the Unlimited Squirrel so much, this next story is the big story from the frustrating book. Hi, Zoom Squirrel. Hi, Squirrel friends. What is this? We, we have, have feelings. feelings. And we wanted to share some with you. <laughs> really? Wow. That makes me feel happy! First feeling is on the house. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Would you like another feeling? Something new? new? New! Yes! I would like to try a new feeling. Let's see. <laughs> Have you ever been Disappointed? <laughs> I am not sure. Okay. <laughs> Disappoint me! Okay. I am ready to be disappointed. When would you like us to disappoint you? <laughs> when? When? Now! <laughs> now? We cannot disappoint you now. You have to make a disappointment appointment. What? A disappointment appointment? Yes! That is too bad. I was really looking forward to being disappointed now. Uh, that makes me feel, well, uh, I do not have a word for it. Uh, maybe we can offer you a different feeling? Okay. Great. Oh, I know of a new feeling for you. Frustration. <laughs> Frustration? Uh, okay. Frustrate me! Ah, uh, let's see. Oh! Uh, bad news, Zoomy. We cannot frustrate you. We do not have any. Uh, you do not have any frustration? Then why did you offer it to me? Come on! First, you cannot disappoint me. Then you cannot frustrate me. That makes me so, 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 yeah! 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 <sighs> <sighs> Another feeling in stock right now that I can feel instead of this? We will we'll check. check. Huh. Thank you. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check this. Let's check everything. Uh, oh! Yes! We found something. But it is not new. We think you have felt this before. Okay. 
What is this old feeling? Wow! Yeah! <laughs> something today. Squirrels may not know a lot about every feeling, but they do know how to be great friends. The end! <laughs> Give it up! Take them out! Very good. Yeah. Mo, I'm frustrated. Joe, why are you frustrated? Well, I want to see another acorny joke. They're so acorny. Okay. No need to be frustrated. You want to see another acorny joke? Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, corn. Hi, corn. I got a question for you. <laughs> Why should you be careful if it's raining cats and dogs? I don't know. Why should you be careful when it's raining cats and dogs? Because you might step in a pool. I prefer dry humor. <laughs> but that joke was a K-9 out of 10. <laughs> yes. Yes! Acorns are the funniest nuts in the whole of the nut world. <laughs> That's nice, Joe. What else do you have for us, Mo? Well, so I'm really very, very, very excited about this next bit because it is a song, an opera song. Oh, like an aria? That is exactly right, Carrie, an aria. I took the music from one of the most famous arias in an opera about a sad clown named Palagagagachi. And because I couldn't pronounce his name, I changed all the words to the song. It was really fun. I turned into a sad song about an ice cream truck. So it was fun to take Mo, these Mo, new... Mo, yeah. Mo, I'm sorry, you, you did yeah. what now? <laughs> what, what did you do? Well, so I took a song and I, I just gave it new words. Just new words. You changed the words to a song? Yeah. Yeah, I, ju I just rewrote them, just buzz. You, you, you rewrote a song that already had words? Yeah, no, it already had words, the song. And I, I took away, I put them aside, and I knew words. I, I, I can't really wrap my head around this. Hold on, give me a second here. <laughs> OK. Oh, th this is a famous song. Yeah, famous song. That already has words. The words were right there. Put them to the side. Brand new words. And, and, and you just changed them? Yeah, I, yeah that's, uh, I just changed them. Why are you being so weird, Al? <laughs> It's who I am, Janet and Varney. It's who I am. I, I, it's, it's hard for I, 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 she, Mo, you just you took the words. Of, where, did, where did he put them? What did he do with them? OK, OK, I, OK. I, Look, I'm so I can, confused. I see that you're confused, Al. I see that this is a huge cognitive leap. Giant! So here's my idea. I have the words and the lyrics to this song. Maybe you would like to sing these new words to see if it works. Yeah, yeah. Do it. 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 I'll give it a shot. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I have severe reservations about this. I have... Give it a shot. Here we go. You can do it. Thank you. We believe in you. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Listen to my tragical story. I planned the best birthday ever, an ice cream truck birthday. Would the ice cream truck serve ice cream for me? Yes. My ice cream truck birthday. <laughs> then guess what happened? Uh, 
I got a call on my cellular phone. The person calling had very bad news about the carburetor and something about the clutch. I'm no mechanic, so it didn't seem like much, but it was. Then there was something about the broken brakes. Ah! What was I hearing? What were they saying? The ice cream truck's broken. On my tears I am choking. There will be no, 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 no ice cream for me. My heart is broken. Like the truck, it's so broken. How can there be no, 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 no? Tutti frutti, chocolate dip, soft serve, mint chip sandwich, snow cone, bomb pop, screwballs, fudge delight, supreme on a stick. But no, 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 no ice cream. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Yankovic! Oh, wow! That was so weird! Uh, I, I see now, like, old song, new words. I should try that sometime. Okay. Yeah! I like the idea of trying something new. I love that we all get to share that moment. Speaking of sharing, I would like to share an elephant and piggy book with you. Would you like to hear, should I share my ice cream? One of the great moral dilemmas of our time. Ice cream, get your cold ice cream for a hot day. Oh boy, ice cream. One ice cream, please. Here you go. Oh boy, I love ice cream. Wait, Piggy loves ice cream too. Piggy is my best friend. Should I share my ice cream with her? Should I share my awesome, yummy, sweet, super great, tasty, nice, cool, Ice cream? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Maybe Piggy doesn't like this flavor. <laughs> Sharing a flavor Piggy does not like would be wrong. I will eat the ice cream. <gasps> uh, wait, Piggy will like this flavor. It is very yummy. Mm. I think I will share my ice cream. It will not be easy. Hey, Piggy is not here. <laughs> she does not know I have ice cream. <laughs> I will eat the ice cream. <laughs> Where is Piggy? <laughs> what if she is sad somewhere? I must find her. When I do, I will say. <laughs> 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 
Would you like some of my ice cream? Then she will say, Thank you. That would cheer me up. Then I will give her my ice cream to share. Mm, yum. Then my best friend will be happy. I will do it. I will share my ice cream. No! Now Piggy cannot have any of my ice cream. Now I cannot have any of my ice cream. I blew it. Friend, you look sad. Would you like some of my ice cream? Thank you. That would cheer me up. Yum. That was not my plan. <laughs> oh well, this works too. You like that story? The end. Great, great work. Years ago, we made a play called Elephant and Piggy. We are in a play, and there's a scene based on this book. And any time we did public performances of that play, the parents and grandparents were in the audience. And when Gerald would say, should I share my ice cream? The kids would say, yes. Because they knew the grandparents thought that was cool, right? <laughs> and then we would do performances just for schools. And when Gerald would say, should I share my ice cream? They would say, no. <laughs> And at one point, Gerald said, I will share my ice cream. And a kid said, you fool! <laughs> Drama is about real emotions. <laughs> I love the Elephant and Piggy books. I love making them. And the reason I do is they are so fun to draw. I think maybe you might think it's fun. Would you like to learn how to draw elephant and piggy? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. You guys got paper already. I want you all to hold up your blank sheets of paper. Hold them up. Okay. This is the most frightening image in the world for a writer. <laughs> right here. There's a lot of blank pieces of paper. We're going to come in the audience and give you crayons, and then we're going to get to start drawing. Pass them down. Hey, hi. Are we supposed to go all the way back? Take one and pass them down. We're going back here. Take one and pass them down. Take, take one and pass them down. Did I get there some? There you go. Take one and pass it down. There you go. Back there. Ready? Perfect. Anybody <laughs> still need a crayon? Anybody can draw a cartoon. A cartoon is just a bunch of shapes, letters, and numbers that you already know. So when you're writing your name, you are writing a cartoon. It's a bunch of shapes that you know, right? Now, Elephant and Piggy is a 12-step program. Oh. <laughs> Purely coincidental. Everybody is going to draw. Joe is helping me hold this thing. And here we go. We're going to have our paper sideways like this big piece of paper. And we're going to start with two big letter O's. Letter O, letter O. And you can say it. O, O, O. That's great. Now. Step two, 
two little O's just in our left one. Little O. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. All right, step three. Uh, one O at the bottom of the one on the right. Ooh. Very nice. Step four is ironic because it's the number seven. So if any of you guys are into like numerology or anything, that's pretty weird. All right, here we go. Over here, number seven. And another number seven. Ah. All right. Have you ever wished you had the power to rip letters in half? Yes. I know. We're going to take the letter U and we're going to turn it upside down what? and we're going to rip it in half. Can we do that? We can. Whoa. Through the power of cartooning. Yes. Here, here we go. Up, half upside down letter U over here. Half upside down letter U upside over down. there. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, now. <laughs> Here we go. Did I forget? No, I didn't do the things. Here we go. We're going to take a letter M. I'm glad we stopped counting. This is step 42. We're going to take a letter M. We're going to rip the letter M in half. And we're going to stick it up top. Letter M, half an M, half an M. All right. M. 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 Okay. M as in Mo. Mo. Oh. I forgot the dots, little dot in the middle here, dot, little dot in the middle here, dot. 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 Now on the right one, big dots. Imagine a dot that gets inflated. <sighs> big dot. Big dot, right? That's pretty good. All right, now we got a little bit of cleanup. My favorite number is number 11 because it's my birthday. Number 11. Put it in the uh, there, right there. Got a little bit of cleanup. We're going to do lots of little short lines to clean this up on the left. That ear, little line. Little line by the eye. Little line between there. Little line there. Little line there. Little line there. I think we're getting pretty close, right? Oh, goodness. Uh -oh. Two letter U's on each character at the bottom. Letter U. Letter U. Now, we're not done. Write your name so everybody knows you made the drawing. All right. Thank you, Joe. And. Hold up your drawings! I want to see these drawings! Look at them! Oh! Wow! Look at that! Whoa! Wow! Unbelievable! Look at that! Wow! Incredible! Now, do your drawings look exactly like mine? No! No! Do they look exactly like the casts? No! That is a good thing. It means you are developing your own personal drawing style, right? Your drawing shouldn't look like anybody else's. OK. Has anyone in this audience lost a tooth yesterday? Is there anyone made out of ham who lost a tooth yesterday? Right here? Yeah. Well, come on. Come on. Come here. What's your name? Owen. Owen. Hey! Okay, Owen. Prove it. <laughs> Prove it. Where, ah, I see, but where point? Where's the missing tooth? Oh, I see it. Do you see it? It's right in the middle. Missing tooth. Owen, stay right there. Owen, do you have a grown up? Right here. There's his grown up. Grown up, come on up. This. We got it. Here we go. Owen, 
This does not happen every time you, miss, you lose a tooth. <laughs> but it happens this time. Wow. Uh, thank you. Good job, Owen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Owen. Wow. Oh, Amazing, Owen. Yay! Owen. This is the first time I've asked this question in public, and I'm so glad it was a kid. <laughs> really am. Would have been a different, it different thing. It would have been a different thing. Yes. It would have been thing. a different thing. How are they going to get that in the Uber? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're having oh. so much fun talking about teeth that, uh, you know, I, I would love to hear another a corny joke. 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 We're going to do another A corny joke. It's our last A corny joke, but it is A and it is corny and A corny joke. Hey, Corn. Hi, Corn. I've got a question. <laughs> what do you call an acorn in space? What do you call an acorn in space? <gasps> an astronaut. <laughs> I need some space from that joke. <laughs> That joke is light years from being funny. One star! Are we having a good time? Yeah. I'm wondering if you would like to see and hear a brand new book. Oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. A brand new book that has not been published yet. Is that legal? You can't do that. You can't do that. No, you can't. You can't, dance, you you can't, can't do dance, that. Dance. It's a brand new book that has not been published yet, and no one has ever heard. What? 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 No. That's illegal. Outrageous. It is uh, practically illegal. So, you are right. So we're gonna do this brand new book, and you have to promise not to tell anybody. Are we all good? You signed a waiver. <laughs> This book is a big deal because it's called Are You Big? And it's so big, it needs the entire cast to read it. Are you big? A hot air balloon is big. A cloud is big. A storm is big. Australia is big. <laughs> the moon is big. The earth is big. The sun is big. <laughs> the star Pollux is big. <laughs> The Milky Way galaxy, which is made of billions of stars and billions of planets and billions of other really, really big things, is really, really big. But not as big as the M100 galaxy. <laughs> or, or the, the galaxy, galaxy cluster. cluster. So, are you big? No. You are to me. The end, but fact check. Are you ready? Speed facts. The hot air balloon is 19 times taller than an average kid. A cumulus cloud is 458,000 times larger in volume than a hot air balloon. A tropical storm is 824,000 times larger in surface area than a cumulus cloud. Australia is 12 times larger in surface area than a tropical storm. The moon is five times larger in surface area than Australia. <gasps> the Earth is 49 times larger in volume than the moon. <gasps> the sun is 1,300,000 times larger in volume than the Earth. <gasps> the star Pollux is 593 times larger in volume than the sun. The Milky Way galaxy is 90 billion times wider than a star Pollux. The M100 galaxy is two times wider than the Milky Way galaxy. 
A galaxy cluster is six times larger than the M100 galaxy. The average kid is 430 times taller than an ant. The galaxy cluster is 8, 6, 2, 500, 4, 2, 1, 10 times larger than the average death. Give or take. Very good. <laughs> Oh, a corny joke! A corny joke! I already said a corny joke! I said it was a lot. I, I said it was. Uh, you really want another a corny joke? Yes! 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 and sounds almost exactly like a parrot. What is orange and sounds almost exactly like a parrot? A carrot! <laughs> a carrot! <laughs> well, that's not a garden variety joke at all. <laughs> This is, this is so much fun, Mo. You know, who knew that acorns could be so adept at observational humor? No. <laughs> who knew? Uh, that's nice, Joe. But I have a question, Mo. Why are we all the way over here and uh -huh. you are all the way over there? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that is a yeah. good question. Um, right? Well, what it's, are you doing it's, over it's, there? it's because our husband I'm, I'm sorry, what, what was that, Mo? I have, I, to quote, We can't uh, hear you. Uh, uh, I, I didn't take a bath. I forgot to take a bath. I was so busy with the whole thing, and I forgot to take a bath. I just don't feel good no, about Mo, that, myself. That's, Mo, that's no big deal. No? Oh. Yeah, you... we have a good book about that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. In, in fact, it's called the pigeon needs a bath! Oh. I, I mean, just personally, I like that one. Oh, yeah? Will, will you read it with us? I will. I will be yeah. the pigeon. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Hi, you know, I don't know if you've noticed, uh, but the pigeon is filthy. So, I could use your help because the pigeon needs a bath. That is a matter of opinion. Yeah, yeah. Never yeah. lie, yeah. never lie. Mm, okay. What a, what a care. <laughs> <He's, laughs> okay. I don't really need a bath. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. I took one last month. Mine? What? Yeah. Month? What year? Yeah, well, I think it was last month. Oh. That's last year! No, it is last year. Oh, mm. Clean, a dirty. I mean, they're just all words, right? I mean. Uh, it's words. 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 words mean things. Words are oh, okay. Um, I feel clean. How? Oh, that's not, not a thing. No. Maybe you need a bath. Yeah, maybe you need a bath. What do you want? Yeah, that yeah, was the last time you had a bath. Hey, hey, hey. What did yeah, you Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty recently. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see now. Uh, life is so short. I think we can all uh, agree with that. And why waste it on unimportant things? Like taking a bath. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. What smell? Yeah. What, what smell? That smell. I don't smell anything. No. And, 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 and sidebar, if I do, 
It's a very normal smell. No, it is not. For a pigeon, maybe. Yeah, I promise you it is not. Okay. You know, in some places, it's, it's impolite to bathe. <laughs> well, well, that's not that's true. Uh, 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 uh. All of these flies buzzing around me are purely coincidental. Here. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Ew! Ooh. Yuck! Let's get out of here! Ugh. Take a bath, dude. <laughs> okay. Okay! A fine. Yeah! Right. Here we go. If it means so much to you, I'll take a bath! Yeah! Okay. Go on the bath! Go on the bath! Oh. Whoa. I am not going to like this one bit. Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. You can do it. Here we go. That's a great. We believe in you. Okay. Rapid fire. This water is too hot. Ugh. This water is too cold. Too deep. Not deep enough. Too lukewarm. Too hot. Too cold. Now it's too hot again. Too wet, too cold, too reflective. Not enough toys. Too many toys. It's still too hot. Oh well. I guess this. I guess this is okay. You're gonna be okay. Thank you for your service. Thank you. We believe in you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, for those of you who want to make picture books as a living, just so you know, a technical term, this next page is known as a splash page. Uh, <laughs> splash! Hey! This is fun. Yeah! Wash, 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 wash. Ooh, I love bubbles. Look at my wrinkly toes. La la la, singing in the tub. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Fine. Oh, ready? Oh. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. That line didn't get anything because you guys are all. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. It was very funny. Okay. <laughs> Ten hours later. Can I stay in this tub forever? No! The end! Oh. Wow! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! You guys were wonderful, that's our show! Please give it up for our cast, Joe! Joe!